Hey guys, Carnivorous Ruth here, and welcome back to The Last Door. I know it's been a while since I've played this, and my upload schedule has been kind of chaotic, but life's been kind of chaotic, and it's hot in here, so my hair is going all bit. Screw it. But yeah, life's been a little chaotic, so yeah, my upload schedule has been kind of wonky even though I have nothing but free time now so enough of that we're gonna hop right into this oh okay we will after unplugging this okay so let's hop in uh allow one second. Okay. Click to continue. There we go. All is darkness. Dumpy. All is cold. That's a little too loud, so... All is silence. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, we're out. Thud. As it goes back into this. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding out what's actually going on. And yeah, that music. I love that music. Just like how it's going on about Kalat. I like orchestral music. I mean, I listen to all kinds of things, but I really like orchestral stuff like this. That kind of dark orchestral feel. I don't know what I'm saying right now. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, I cut the goatee off. It was getting... I think I did, yeah. But it's starting to come back a little bit. You can actually see it now. Oh, it's winter. Ooh, gold. Winter is coming. Oh. I don't watch Game of Thrones, and I honestly think that meme is... Are you doing that on your own, or am I moving you? Okay, apparently I'm moving you. I have no idea who you are, but... You got this thing on your face. Okay. No. Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother deceased, arrangements have, have to be made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at the St. Gall Boarding School in Aberdeen. You need not bother to write, as I will not have time to read your letters. He sounds like a wonderful dad. Yeah, very supportive. It's like, oh, your mom died. Go away. Is he holding his arm up, blocking, or is that just something attached to his face? I don't know. Still no letters for you, David. Please do not persist any further. Uh. Another flashback. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Oh, him? Oh, that's just a bit. Pay him no mind, he's a little odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. Th this is my first term here. I've only just arrived. Hope we can be friends. We all know how that turned out. If I remember correctly, he's the guy that hung himself that kind of caused all of this to happen. Oh, the wind stopped. And then we wake up on the floor. 
outside of Coffin. What? What happened? We have a ticket. The four witnesses. The four witnesses. A ticket. See a play called The Four Witnesses. My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I will faint. Dear Lord, where am I? Shiver runs down my spine when I look at what could have been my eternal deathbed. Wait, did I just see a hand thing pop up? Or am I just seeing things? Let's go out this room. We are somewhere. Light coming... In from outside is dazzling. Well, we're in a basement. We know that much. But a basement where? I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? So someone took us out of the coffin, they stuck us in, and took us to Scotland. Or, not Scotland, we were already in Scotland, to this town. Young man, could you please tell me where I am? She so says nothing, young... Talk to this person who's actually saying something, what are they saying? Please sir, could you give me some water? This ain't a charity, Toph. I only sell to paying customers, so cough up or get out. Cheapest potatoes in town. Okay. Uh, there's a cart blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass until it's been moved. An indigent, an indigent in ragged clothing sits leaning against the brickwork. So I'm a building in a back alley. The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Stained in threadbare sheets struggle to dry in the muggy air. Young woman suffers difficulty to bleed. Difficulty breathing. There we go. English. It is your native language. You should be able to speak it better. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk. Yeah. Lovely, lovely people. There's a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Sit. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why, this is the old Nickel Street Rookery. A darker, more decrepit place like never there was. But that's in London. How could I have arrived in this slum? So I'm in London now? From the pipe flows grimy water full of soot. The water's fouled or is pulsed by him, overcome with thirst. When you gotta drink water, I don't intend to drink it again. It had an awful taste. When, you, when you're that thirsty, uh, there's really no more, no option. Oh, I just blacked out. Oh, yay. It's nighttime. And it's all creepy. Must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in old nickels at night. I should make my way out as quick as possible. The stench from the sewer drain is nauseating. Okay, nothing new. But hey, I can actually walk faster now. I can go this way now. I do not want to go in there, so let's just go the new way. Excuse me. Her Dr. Wakefield is here to see you, mind her. Show him in hers. I'm thinking it's German. 
It's about your pain. It is about your patient, is it not? There's no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for his last sessions. I've been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He kept the destination to himself. Then it is happening as I feared. What do you mean? Sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with her, DeVitt, but I didn't want to upset you without need, as I hope for the best. Now I'm afraid my suspicions could be true. There are some things that I will have to verify first, though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, her doctor, it is of the utmost importance no one else knows of this matter. Yamo, you have my total discretion. Yeah, I know this series, it's more of just me narrating, me reading what's going on. But I like it. I really do like this game. I have to know what's going on. But like I've been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of this labyrinth. Uh, upstairs. Maybe. Hey, there's a... Follow the guy! It's very dark, I don't dare go on. Don't blame me on that one, man! Are we sure we want to go this way? Because... This way is pretty bad, too. Got lost in the fog. If I'm to make my way through, I will need to orient myself somehow. So, yeah, none of that. Okay, that just let me hear. Though the embers look as though they'll soon extinguish, the meager warmth is welcome. Do you hear them? It's the crows searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Screw the crows! Could you help me? These trees are so confusing to navigate. I'm afraid I've lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one. I can give you direction. I've been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Sorry, nose itches. One second. Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. Okay, I can de peer deep into your past and one tapestry of fate. Blah blah blah. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be open? I don't have a penny to pay you. Money is of no matter here. Come close to me now. Flip you. The mask. Empty eyes stare at you, and a voiceless mouth calls you. Slips, twist, and snarl with what it has seen. What is still to be seen. You think it is a stranger's face, but it is your own. The Walker. You have embarked upon a great journey, but this path has been walked by you before. You step in your own footprints inside a circle of fire. The Scream. It begs you to escape. Mute. It shrieks your lost name. Sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one you know. Don't understand what does it all mean. Can't unpunk. I can't unpick these ones. The threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But you will. Oh yes, you will. I can do no more. That is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog we see only what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of bird. No more direction can I give. Weird man. I'm following a man. He must have passed this way. And how is that man? Tall, well-dressed, red-haired, and a cold look in his eyes. Nightmare which we don't talk about. All of us, asleep or awake, have seen that man sometime. How to get out of this place? Get out, there's no way to exit the fog. We can only wander around and get lost in, in it. In the fog, all the stars die. Uh, okay, you... You'll need a my map to guide your steps. Farewell. Rusty old oil lamp since empty in the corner. 
No, it doesn't belong to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it'll do you without any oil, though. Then let's take it! And then get some oil. Okay. The gate's latched shut. I can't open it from this side. Wait, what does it... You may keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike-encrusted jewels. Stay here, stay there as you will, and stare into my eyes. My shadow, shadow will not disappoint. Ugh. The letter seemed to have been described with an oily grime. It reads rats. I'm not sure if that's a warning or an exclamation. The sewers flooded here with ankle deep pool of water. Patches of oil swirl on its surface. Could collect some of this water, but I would need a container to store it in. Pick up that. No. Okay, so well now we know how to where to get oil. It's just rubbish, wrong scraps of food, and discarded papers. Okay. This takes me there. Okay, let's go this way then. Board up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from seeing the interior. I just cannot talk tonight. Straight lamp tries to put some light into the gloom. Anything useful? Let's see about here. Cuts of rancid meat lie discarded on the butcher's block. I don't think I want to be in here. So creaky. Metal plate is planted on the wall. If it didn't know better, I'd say it was a bolt hole. It's one of these puzzles. There we go. Remains of a horse hang by a hook affixed to the wall. Its blood drains seeping into the floorboards. Oh, don't want to be in here. Rusted old drums empty. Machine is old and in disrepair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine. Despite its condition, it seems to be used just recently. Bottle of gin. It's empty, but may be of some use. There's the bottle I need. And what's this? It's a glass of cinch here. Liquids are poured in the top, and then impurities removed through a valve at the bottom. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Rank piece of meat hangs from the ceiling. Okay, that's it. So now we go back to the sewer. Which is this way. Back into the sewer. And we take this and use it on that. And then get the fuck out. And then we go back. And we go in here. Which I really don't want to go back in here. But. So we go back in here. And we take this. And put it right in there. The oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, it will drain the water until all the water has been removed. That's it. I've extracted all of the water. Then we take this and fill it up with oil. Fill the lamp with oil. I hope it will be enough to last the night. Ugh, I don't like this. So here we go. Now we can go in the door with the strange guy. Oh, do I have to find a way to light the lantern? So that's a dick move. 
Just need something to turn it on. Okay, so. Let's see if. Oh, there we go. Now we have a lit lantern. There we go, we're making progress. Finally. An old worn out coat hangs on the rack, and one of its pockets is a pair of gloves. Take those gloves, we might need them. This portrait of a gentleman with a distant, distant look seems vaguely familiar. No bottle of St. Emilian Grand Cru is covered with dust. Is this door locked? Nope. Hey, we're outside. Mole covers the wood stacked in this shed. Judging by the resin oozing on the surface of this tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. Nose itches again. Sorry, people. The door is locked. I can't even move it. Okay. Now we get to go upstairs. Yay! I'd rather not. I would definitely rather not. Oh, fuck you. Bright Meadow, the pictures. <laughs> now my eyes focus in the gloom. I can see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed up as a young girl for some reason. She appears not to hear or see me from here. I need to get closer if I am to explain myself. My reflection stares back at me through the grime. An old wardrobe. The wardrobe is locked. There's something amongst the embers. Can't put... Pick up the gloves and reach into the fire with the gloves. I just got a doorknob. No, I don't want to dance and sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Who are you? I actually met him. I'm a friend. I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Oh, don't you recognize me? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, not at all. It's fine. It's been a while since I last performed, I suppose, but don't you forget it. I'm the great little caddy, singer, dancer, the golden girl of London's musical halls. Okay, she's gone crazy. Looking for a gentleman. He's well-dressed with red hair. Do you know him? He led me to this place. No, father, I've been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I've behaved very well today, haven't I? Yeah. I want to get out of this place. I didn't see. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there, you see. In the fog, there are no faces. Let's play. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. First, I'm going to see what this is. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. March 8th, 1843, by the way. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show, but he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said, over and over. March 21st, 1843. Father got really mad at me, and he started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little bit in the street. More and more, he is obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection. April 3rd, 1843. Am I not the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one people come from all over to see and admire. It's my name, not the one printing all the posters. My name. The dolls for sale at the theater entrance. They have my likeness, my dress, and my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, 1843. One more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? One, two, three, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? Uh... What the blaze has just happened? My head, it's pounding, and where did she go? Five things on the floor after Katie's disappearance. There's a mask. Pick it up. 
to force the mask. It broke where it, when it fell. The distorted features, there's a grotesqueness to them. I don't like the look of it. Yeah, put it back and look underneath the ma mask of photograph. As a note, Lil' Katie show, there was a girl lit up by a spotlight in a music hall singing to a live piano. Wardrobe is locked. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> okay, this wasn't too bad. I was like, oh crap. This cage must have had a huge bird, only a feather remains. Grab that feather! Use the broken mask to grab the feather. Check out the piano. Maybe play something. Piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Don't find out! Nope, we're gonna find out. Something preventing one of the keys from depressing. There's a key hidden under the key. Really? Oh, fuck you, dude. Just fuck you. I'm no longer creeped out, and now I just kind of want to... Oh, doorknob. I kind of just want to punch you in the face, dude. Wind planks are blocking the window. I can... Big wall mirror, it's so covered in dust that I can't recognize my face, though. Laughter is coming from behind the curtain. I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Right there. Really? This porcelain doll with lifelike proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her features loose, but its wig shines brightly as though it's human hair. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. Why can I not? Oh. With the hair removed, the doll is even more unsettling. You're a douchebag. Man picture has quite a hypnotic gaze. Don't look at it. Hello, douchebag. Painting a beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. No, no, no. Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last note you screwed into me? Middle C up to A, measure G up to C, tied. F, second violin, bar two. Middle C up to A, double note, E, G, C. No, that's supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C up in octave, and then up to G. What, what, what do you, th who do you think you are? Are you blind man? Can't you see I'm creating the angel's voice, the work, CDA, an octave higher? A fragile voice flares around the strophe. No, 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 no. Hand swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. You all right, sir? My inspiration, too, is lost, quite lost. In the fog, the notes moan. Just let her. What happened to her? She was very de delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice, it came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne, the best soloist that a composer could have, the voice of an angel. What made my music possible? She was standing there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dust sun. Who was she? Oh, I did. Damn it. The mausoleum. Mausoleum outside the house is that where Daphne is buried. That's right. I have visited her many nights. I have even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone fl floor. When I'm following man, come think of it, maybe he is following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. Sometimes I find this man too. Among my notes, I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music, remains beautiful, but it is a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now, not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Okay, so I know what I need to do now. And shut up. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Oh, it's starting to get weird. So we kind of know what's going on. The whole Watcher thing. Them doing the ritual. Calling the Watcher, I think it was called. And now weird things are going on and people are dying. And now there's a guy following us.
So, yeah, it gets more interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this here. I already said that, so, yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Like, or the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy the lives of the rest of the world and yours.